Ryan Stewart with Wine of the Diamond. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing, well, I, I'll be honest, I, I picked the bottle up because I thought the label was gorgeous. Hopefully it's good. I don't know, but stay tuned for this review of the 2018 Intrinsic Cabernet Sauvignon. Hey everybody, before we begin today's video, if you like it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, click that notifications bell, and do all the things that people who like content do. So today we're going to be reviewing the 2018 Intrinsic Cabernet Sauvignon from Columbia Valley. It's 14.5% alcohol by volume, and I got it for $15 at Costco. Let's get rid of the capsule there, and let's go ahead and open her up. All right, so from a color standpoint, you are medium purple, no artifacts, no cloudiness. Before I get to the nose, uh, the reason I said medium purple is because you can actually get a note of the stem on the bottom of it. So if you look down, you can actually see the stem as it connects to the bottom of the bowl. And so because I can still see that, even though it is pretty dark, I'm still giving it a medium. If I couldn't see it, I would say it's dark. Now, let's go ahead and get to the nose. On the nose, ooh, you are pretty bold. Medium plus intensity on the nose. But I'm getting this, I'm getting a lot of plum, blackberry, a little bit of black cherry. There's some vanilla. There's a little bit of cedar, a touch of milk chocolate. There's a lot going on in this glass. So this is also gonna be slightly weird. It reminds me of like, I don't know if you guys have camping equipment, but when you open camping equipment that's been stored for a long time and you get a little bit of like a stale air note, I'm getting a little bit of that. Not much, just a little bit, but it's noticeable. There's also blackberry. Yeah, there's blackberry. Like I said, just a lot of, a lot of dark fruits, but how does it taste? Medium plus tannins are very soft, very soft, but there is still a good amount of tannin in that wine. The fruit intensity, about medium intensity on the fruit. Everything's just kind of there. It's not trying to beat you over the head. It's actually balanced very well with the tannins. Acid, acid, medium acid. I mean, overall this is just, it's it's a full bodied wine. It, it tastes like it has, it's it, like I said, if, I, if W set three had a medium plus on the alcohol, that's where I would put this. Because you can notice it, but it's not so strong that it, it, it it's a keynote of the wine. So it, it's there, but it, it's, it's not really intrusive. It's, I guess for lack of a better way of phrasing it, it's, it's sort of like a, a chillaxed Columbia Valley red wine that wants to try to be a Napa guy. So if I had to say what it was kind of like, I would say it'd be like a Birkenstocks wearing hippie strapping on its trucker hat while getting into its Jeep, which is, by the way, an electric powered Jeep that runs off of karma and alcohol. So that's kind of what this wine is getting at. It's trying to be it's trying to be the best of both worlds. How good of a job is this wine doing in its effort to be all the things? Let's get to the blick. From a balance standpoint, yeah, I have no complaints at all. Full point, you're in balance. Length, medium plus finish, half a point. Intensity, medium on the palate, medium plus on the nose, half a point. In terms of complexity, Good amount of secondary, good amount of primary, not getting any tertiary, which I wouldn't expect in 2018. So, or at least a 2018 Cabernet. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you half a point. In the end, your $15, I'm gonna give you very good. Yeah, I'm gonna give you very good. And the main reason why is because you are doing a really good job being that Birkenstock wearing hippie that's driving an electric Jeep fueled off of alcohol and compost. I mean, it's just, you are doing what you want to do. You're trying to be this big, bold, almost like a Napa Red, while still preserving your Columbia Valley characteristics. I really like that. And you did a damn good job doing it. Yeah, I, I, I recommend you go pick up a bottle and try it for yourself. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the 2018 Intrinsic Cabaret from Columbia Valley? I'd be interested to know if you have. 
leave a comment below and I'll see you all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dot. In the meantime, <laughs> I'm super happy about this wine. I wish I really had a steak to go with this wine, but I don't. It's 9.30, it's not too late to go to the store. I'm gonna go buy a steak. I'll see y'all later.